Well, today was a step in the right direction. We brought back some additional sunshine, although it was through a thin layer of clouds that sort of filtered it out, but it also allowed our temperatures to warm up a little bit. So we got our highs into the mid 50s in most cases to upper 50s. So a much more mild day and more typical of this time of year. And our temperatures are actually going to continue to warm up here over the next several days. Now we have mainly clear skies again. Those clouds have moved out and we're looking at a pretty nice night now. A lot of times when you get clear skies this time of year, your temperatures just plummet. And that's not going to be the case. We have a nice little breeze coming out of the south, so it's going to keep our temperatures a little more on the mild side tonight. So we're still at 41 in Pittsburgh. Temperatures around us are in the upper 30s to low 40s, so most everyone still has some mild temperatures. And that's going to be the case as we go into tonight, as many of us are going to stay above freezing, so not nearly as cold as the past couple of mornings. 41 degrees in Pittsburgh with those mainly clear skies at the airport. That very light wind out of the south, but that's just enough of a Push to keep that warm air flowing in here, but it's very dry. We have a dew point of 18 and a relative humidity of 40%. So we have some very dry conditions outside. Now over the next several days, our temperatures are going to build up while we do get a little setback on Thursday with some showers trying to push in here. Temperatures just take off for the weekend. We have 70 degrees on tap for Saturday, some mid 70s Sunday, upper 70s. By the time we get into Monday, we will see those numbers fall off a little bit next week, but temperatures are going to stay right around average, if not above over the next several days. Now, one thing, if you have the uh, KDK weather app, you may notice if you're out in Somerset County, you have a fire weather watch, and this is issued when it's extremely dry outside and when you have winds, and that's the combination that gets some quickly spreading fire. And our relative humidity levels are very low, 40% Pittsburgh, 50%, 56% Latrobe, those 40s as you get into the center parts of the state. And typically this time of day or this time of night, our relative humidities are much higher than that as your temperatures come down. So we have very dry air and our winds tomorrow are going to be between 20 and 30 miles per hour with the gusts and that could quickly cause some uh, fire to spread. So burning is not a good idea. That's what this fire watch means. You shouldn't burn outside at least through tomorrow. We'll get some moisture coming in here on Thursday. So you can see Wednesday pretty quiet through the day. Dry conditions, a lot of sunshine. Thursday, those clouds come back and Thursday during the day, any rain that does come in is going to be very light because of the dry air. But uh, I think Friday would be our best chance to see some rain as the cold front pushes in here. So some steady rain, possibly some rumbles of thunder with that. Tonight, we're looking at our temperatures to dip down to 36 degrees. If you haven't cleared out yet, it's going to happen. We'll have mainly clear skies and a lot of sunshine for tomorrow. It will be a little breezy with occasional gusts up to 25. Temperatures make it into the upper 50s. And look at this progression through the day. Upper 30s to get it started, low 50s by lunchtime into the afternoon, 57 degrees. So a nice mild day. And into Thursday, while we'll set the temperature back just a couple degrees, we're going to get some additional moisture in here. We could see a few showers. Those will be light. Come Friday, scattered showers, rumble the thunder, and then into the weekend, temperatures really take off low to mid 70s, even upper 70s by Monday of next week. That's a lot going on in the forecast, and you can take a look at that forecast anytime you want with the KDK weather app. It has an interactive radar. If those showers are getting close, hour by hour forecast, you can see what's ahead for the week. You get alerts and a whole lot more. Just search CBS Pittsburgh in the App Store and in Google Play.